honestly, my most toxic trait is I don't get FOMO. I get JOMO. Like, I get joy of missing out. Like, you think I want to go out? I literally am about to watch a documentary on ancient ruins, lay in my bed, and eat snacks. I, I, I can't participate in FOMO because I literally, nothing makes me happier than this. Good morning, good morning. I snuck away to wrap some stocking stuffers. You guys influenced me. A lot of y'all said you wrap every single thing in the stocking because it's more fun because it lasts longer, and I'm doing it. I think that's an amazing idea. I've always done, like, half and half, half wrapped, half open, but this year, I'm doing all of them. Got a little BFFs. Writing set, little Green Bay Packers gibbets for Vaughn's Crocs. This is cute. Just between us, little father-daughter journal prompts, little writing prompts. Anyways, I've got to get caught up on my wrapping because I fly out tomorrow to Vegas for three days because I am doing, I'm filming. I'm doing guest appearance on another show. So I won't be able to talk about what show it is because it's not my show. Remember, typically people are not allowed to talk about shows until they like air. The way I do it's a little different. So with my show, I can do all the secrets in real time, but when it's someone else's, I can't, I can't really say. So it's kind of a tease moment. I just got notified that my StoryWorth discount code is now active only for 24 hours. So if you know what StoryWorth is and you've been waiting for a discount, this is it. $10 is the most they have ever discounted. Code is the Rambling Redhead. You can tap on this link um, and then you can apply that code and you'll get your $10 off. StoryWorth, I've talked about them for years. It's such a special gift and it is essentially a bound book of questions that someone in your family answers for a year. So it's a great gift. So for example, I try to explain it quickly every year and it's hard to explain. I got a StoryWorth book for my mom and my dad one year for Christmas. I had my dad's mom fill out all these questions for a year and so all of her thoughts and questions were bound in a book for my dad. And then on my mom's side, I had her mom and dad do the same thing, answer a question a week for a year. And now she has a book of all of her parents' thoughts and questions. Some of them are really deep questions and some of them are just really fun questions where you learn a funny story. I feel like there's two good ways to do this. So if you're in a crunch for a good creative gift for your parents or someone in your family, you can do what I did, which is a few years back, I bought the book like a week, two weeks before Christmas and I printed out the receipt wrapped it up and I gave that to my parents saying, hey, your Chris, one of your Christmas gifts from me is a book that your parents are gonna fill out, stories about their lives, um, but you're gonna get it next November. So that was there, they knew it was coming, which now that I look back, I'm very thankful that I did it that way um, because my dad's mom and my mom's dad, who I did books about, have since passed. And I am so thankful that I did them because it's such a special book now that we have like a little piece of them left behind. I, I love, I'm so thankful that I did that. But anyways, when I printed it out, it was all very happy and exciting and no one was declining at that point. I should clarify too, buying the book, I didn't actually buy a physical book. I signed up to do the questions for a year, if that makes sense. When you sign onto their website, it's really easy to understand. You basically sign up for it. Um, Option two, if you already have gifts for this year and you want to get started on a good gift for next Christmas, you buy it now, you start it now, and then that way you get it next November and they can physically unwrap this book that has been made and they had no idea what's going on, which is also a really cool way to do it. It just takes planning on your end. Um, so two ways. I also did the books differently per grandparents. My mom's parents have internet. They're very computer savvy. They did it themselves. They got the questions and they sat down once a month and knocked out like four questions at a time. My dad's mom had no internet or a cell phone. So I called her once a month and we would talk once or twice a month and we'd talk for sometimes almost two hours and I would type and dictate as she answered questions. I will say while well, my dad's mom's book obviously took more time and effort on my side to dictate all the phone calls. Uh, those are memories that I have forever and she just passed. And I am so glad that I took the time to talk to my grandma um, more that year than I probably ever have regularly. And so it was really special. So I challenge you to think of it that way if it's for someone who doesn't have internet or an easy way to contact and you have to schedule and it takes more time. 
Um, I learned so much about her in those conversations. We also did her book differently. Every time I'd ask her like, what was a dream job you had? She'd be like, oh, I don't know, hun. And she would tangent on to something else. But one time when, um, one time after high school, and so I would clear the question, make my own chapter title, and then I would write whatever she wrote. So hers aren't very much questions. We kind of formulated her as a book with chapters of her life, and it is so cool. What's cool is you can actually go back in their system and print a book anytime you want. So I just went in last week and I printed four more books for my dad's siblings um, that their grandma made um, just because. But you can access those books at any time. So that's also a really cool feature. Another thing that I did, and then I promise I'll stop. Um, but for those of you who do it, something that I really liked that I did was I made a chapter about each child in their books. So I went into my grandparents and I said, or I actually called them at both sets. And I go, tell me a little bit about Amy. What was she like as a kid? What were her strengths? What were her weaknesses? Any funny stories you remember? And so in all of their books, they have a chapter per child. And it just made it to me like so sentimental and special because now also the kids get to read what their parents said about them, that they're proud of them. Like, I don't know, I'm getting emotional. I'm so like sentimental like that. So if you do it, you can go in and make that question yourself. And I'm telling you, like, that's what makes this so special to each person is you can go in and kind of customize that. I feel pretty, oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and bright. And I pity any girl who isn't me tonight. I feel charming. One of my favorite things to gift is back in stock. And it's $19.99 and it is the battery organizer. It's got two sides. I gifted this to my dad and a couple of other people. I want to say two Christmases ago. It might have been three. And it's dual side. And it is so satisfying to fill this thing up and then also know where all my batteries are at any time. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. Even it has a little charger in there and it tells you how not charger it has a little what is that thing called it tells you how much energy is left in your battery measures what's left in it so if it's like a dead battery or something's not working you can stick it on there and it'll tell you if it's good or not but anyway super See your ears? She's an elf.